All right, Dave, we got your room, air conditioned room. It holds at about 80 degrees, maybe a little bit less, all day long. That's a good thing, ain't it? With a fan in the kitchen. All right, now all we gotta do is get you a doggy door. And what I got here, Ted, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I got a uh, piece of plexiglass that I'm gonna put in that wall right there next to the door where you where Ted will have his own door. But it's a big old sheet of plexiglass and I gotta build a frame around it. And then cut a hole and put it in the wall. Alright, let's get started I guess. Well, yeah, the first thing we need to do is split a uh, a one by same thickness as the wall. So I'm going to measure the wall thickness and then uh, split one the same width. I think I'm going to have to take uh, about an inch off or so. All right, we'll go from there. All right, I took off about a oh about a quarter of an inch off of this board, so I can use this one as part of the frame, and uh, as as yeah, part of the frame. I I may have to split the split another one before I'll have enough. I don't think one eight footer is gonna be quite long enough. We'll see. That's it for now. All right, I got this uh, hinge. It's uh, what you call a piano hinge, I believe. That I'm going to have to attach to the top of my plexiglass. Well, it's quite a bit too long, so I'm going to have to cut it off. So I'll cut it off and mount it onto the top of the plexiglass. And get the top of the frame mounted to it. And, and uh, get back with you. Alright, battery ran down, but I just cut this uh, piano hinge to uh, fit the uh, the door. So, now we need to mount it. Through the door. Actually, I got to do some marking first. Putting way too much pressure on that. That means that is dull. So let's see if I can find one. I believe that's going to be close to the same size. Let's see if this one ain't a little sharper. When you're drilling plexiglass, you don't want to put any pressure on it. You don't want to split it or tear it or break it. You just want to let the drill do the work. Ooh, there we go.
I believe that's enough. I'm gonna skip that hole. One, two, three, four, five. Find me some some bolts. Need some bolts. Some bolts, and we'll put uh, put that thing on the plexiglass. All righty, found some little screws. We can figure out how to put this thing on here. It's gonna swing. Let's swing more now. So this is gonna be. Here. And you can swing all the way around from top to bottom. So it's got to go just like that. Okay. Plexiglass on a hinge. You see that pretty good? So now all we gotta do is mount the hinge to a frame inside a frame. Build a frame, I guess, first. Mount the hinge on the inside and and uh, go from there. Alrighty. Got, uh, I've got it attached to the board. Let's see if we can show you this here. You know where it'll swing back and forth. So, but on this side, you know the the bolts, of course, are going to hit on the board. So, I got to eliminate that problem. It's all attached, and what I'm going to do is just cut the tops off these things. You can see that. Them off enough. If not, I'll grind them down. If I have to. But I believe that's enough. Let's see. I don't know. That's not going to give him much play. What to do now? I don't think it's gonna get any more play. This is uh if that's sitting and he goes to raising it up, it's gonna hit right there. That ain't enough room for him to go under. It's gotta go all the way up or real close to it. Now going this way. Go all the way up nearly. 
so I've got a problem here but maybe we can solve it no I don't know may have to pull the uh, hinge away from the pull the hinge this way remount it because that's not even if those were flat it's not enough I don't know. Let me think about it and look at it. Too hot to think about it in here. So. That's it for now. All right. I have just about decided. Well, I know I have decided. The only really only way this is going to work without two piano hinges, which I don't really want to put. I go buy another one and cut it the same length put it in the center of the hole I can put it out here on the edge and it will work because uh, the plexiglass will come up next to the edge and so it won't hit the, the wood right here if the plexiglass is on it it hits the wood and you can't and it won't open any further no matter which side you put it on. So, so I'm gonna have to move my hinge over to the edge, connect my plexiglass back up to it, and then uh, go from there. All right. What I decided to do was move this uh, the piano hinge from the center over to the outside. When it's in the center, this uh, top ridge of the plexiglass uh, stops it from swinging that direction so it, it, it's up against the wood so it won't swing that direction so to move it out here it swings that direction and what I've done here is try to get some flat screws and inset uh, two three little old spots so that those screws can fit into that slot. I don't know if you can see that or not. So what it what it does is it's got that much going to the outside and this much going to the inside. So it's all the way to the inside but on the outside it's a, it won't go quite all the way to the top but it's pretty close. It opens plenty enough for, for dead. Anyway that was my solution. Now I got to finish building the frame uh, around the door. We'll see see what happens. First part of uh, doggy door, Ted's doggy door is complete. Uh, just the frame and the flap, but the flap goes all the way up to here, and it goes all the way back. Well that's still that's a pretty good oh. now I just gotta cut me a good square straight hole. This square it'll swing back and forth really easy. And uh, I think I think we can work with that. 